India's Foreign Secretary Sujata Singh has spoken to headlines today, a day after the U.S. Ambassador to India, Nancy Powell, announced she would be resigning in May. Sujata Singh has told headlines today that she did not see any negative impact from the decision. Foreign Secretary, when you were taking over, many people felt, your critics felt, that you would be a very soft Foreign Secretary. But you really demonstrating during the Devyani Gade affairs that you were indeed an iron lady in many ways. You were very tough and told the US in very clear terms that this was an unacceptable. Did you, when you went to Washington, did you make it very clear to them that this entire episode was unwarranted and uh, India felt really cheated because US was a close friend of India? Saurabh, first let me tell you that I completely reject all these adjectives of soft and iron lady and tough, cheated. This is not the terminology of diplomacy. Uh, for the record, the episode had not happened while I was in Washington. It happened after I left. And uh, basically, I think that one, one deals with situations when one deals with important partners, with countries that uh, one has very intensive interactions with, one uh, is frank in talking to them, which is the manner in which one should discuss the issues that are concerned. So after the Devyani Cobra Gade episode, we did make our views on this clear to the United States. And thereafter, we worked together with them in finding a resolution. But are you looking forward to a new chapter with a new American ambassador uh, being appointed and coming to New Delhi? You know, uh, there are no new chapters. It's an ongoing chapter. It's an ongoing narrative. And in the narrative that we have with our partners, there are different, uh, there are different issues, there are different events. And there is always a common thread of determining to resolve whatever issues come our way together in a spirit of cooperation. For a second, let's talk about uh, another important country, Pakistan. And in the run-up to the campaigning in Indian elections, there have been a spate of terror uh, attacks. In some ways, there have been terrorists who have been arrested, and all the leads now point to Pakistan. Are you concerned that the establishment in Pakistan is not serious about the peace process with India? Because for India, democracy is sacred and Indian elections are an integral part of Indian democracy. I'd agree with you completely on that. Democracy is sacred and uh, the election process is the most sacred of all the aspects of our democratic process. And this is something that anybody in government of India will tell you that there is no way that anyone in India will countenance any disruption from anywhere to our election process. That is a message that is loud and clear.